I want to see a child in every public school in America who is trained as a witness for Jesus Christ. When you send that child off to school today, you're sending them into a pagan society. And in the studies are showing that there's virtually no discernible difference between the church and the world. At what point is Southern Baptist going to rise up and say, enough is enough? Whatever we once were, we are no longer a Christian nation. We've got to do something different. The schools are failing. And I'll go to six or seven days a week not just Monday through Friday. You're not going to be painting, okay? You're going to be writing down whatever comes to your mind when you hear the word gay or when you hear the word lesbian. So nothing's right or wrong There's in no this right. either? That's right. They are stealing our children. But because they are leaving the body of the child with us, we don't even know what's happening. If I had my way, government education would be brought to a halt. Trying to fix public education is like trying to teach a pig how to dance. You get dirty and the pig gets mad. Turning your children over to total strangers and having those strangers work on your child's mind, it's a mad idea. Public schools have become a criminal enterprise. Parents are willing to admit that there are these problems and yet believe that their children will somehow escape. They won't. And it may have taken a school shooting to wake us up, to see the danger, but that's a very small danger compared to all the other things that go on that can destroy our children. A teacher is in trouble for bringing a religion into his classroom, but should he lose his When we job? go into a public school, we have to leave God at the door. It just came to the point where I couldn't do that anymore. Jesus said, build your house upon the rock. But the foolish man refused the words of Christ, would not build their education systems on the fear of God, on the words of Christ. Everything exists to proclaim the glory of God. And the one place where we send our kids seven hours a day is a place where God's name can't be mentioned. It's not indoctrination, it's insanity.